Hi, I'm Terry Ross, and these are my PVC pipe bows. I learned how to make pipe bows from the YouTube videos of Nick Tomihama, the backyard boyer. The PVC is heated for about 15 minutes until it is soft and pliable, and then placed into a jig that I designed to hold the pipe straight while being squished into a consistent taper flat at the ends and round in the middle. My arrows are 5 16 inch dowels from the local craft store with duct tape fletching and a nail inserted into the other end to make a sturdy point and add weight. I try to use only common materials that are either super cheap or free. One exception is bowstring. I use standard wax Dacron bowstring material from an archery supply store, made into a Flemish twist loop at the top, and I use a timber hitch knot at the bottom. In my description is a link to a web page that explains how to make this kind of bowstring. Each of my bows has an arrow rest made of flattened PVC with a pass through for the bottom fletching. I find this improves the flight of my arrows and helps the fletching to stay new longer. I use a thin strip of white electrician's tape wrapped around the string to form a knock point. This holds up surprisingly well. This is one of the first bows I made last summer. Eight inch draw. It's about 45 inches long. It's made of gray electrician's PVC, one half inch in diameter. All of my other bows are made from white plumber's PVC pipe. This bow is based on the Backyard Boyer's U3 curve. Three quarter inches in diameter, 40 pounds at 28 inch draw. This bow is a one inch diameter long bow. It's about 56 inches long, no, 64 inches long, 30 pounds at 28 inches. And lastly, one inch diameter long bow about 48 pounds at 28 inch draw. It's about 56 inches long. This is the most recent bow that I've made. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.